welcome back. In this video, we're going to be going over a mitered bridle joint. In our last video, William showed you how to do a bandsaw bridle joint. And we're going to do a hybrid version of that. From the bandsaw to the handsaw. Here we have a normal bridle joint next to a mitered bridle joint. One of the faces on each of these is cut out of 45. Now before we get to work, we want to make sure our pieces are square and our reference sides are marked. Now we're going to do a little bit of layout. I take a little more time in my preparation. Because I don't like to think about all the details. when I'm working. And in woodworking, not everything needs to be precise and measured with a ruler. There's a lot of different ways. To do a lot of different things. And I really enjoy discovering new ways to accomplish goals. Now for the tenon, I'm going to cut one of the cheeks all the way through. And the other one, only to the 45. I've been using a bandsaw for years. I wouldn't recommend doing anything you don't feel safe with. Now we've adjusted the fence to cut our mortise. There's a saying in woodworking that if you want to make money, use power tools. But sometimes it's not about the money. Although it does cost money to make these videos and we really appreciate your support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. So we've made a nice knife line so that our saw doesn't wander around. We're just going to cut one of the mortises 
at a 45 degree along the cheek. Now we have the tenon, and we'll repeat the process. There's a lot of reasons I slow down in my shop. What's the point of doing something? If you're not going to enjoy it, and do the best that you can with the tools that you have. And if you can, use really good tools. Now to get this joint to fit, all we have to do is run a shoulder plane along the correct face, little by little. until it snugs down. Thank you for watching.